What was your first proper terror? What form or what age? Um, as an 11 year old, um, there was tear up. What happened? I was standing on the halfway line and I was still with my father then. And 50 big guys came in early, uh, Bristol City, leather jackets. And, um, and I went up to them. I said, fellas, don't stand there. Go up, go, go up to the away. And cause the boys have been in a minute and they turned around and said, fuck off you little, butt, little wanker. Like, and I said, fair enough. And then the guy who founded Millwall, in 64, 65 season, it's a continuation from the mods, a guy called um, Dave Rand, they called him the captain because he had a beard, feather cut. He came in with, um, he was in his, he would have been in his mid twenties and you had all the 18, 19 year olds, all these youngsters. This is the early days. And they came in and it was like, um, it was like a film, like, you know, Russell Crowe, the uh, gladiator. Oh, yeah. But he came in and he, a couple of hundred of guys, and he just pointed like that. And then two of the younger guys, uh, well-known guys, I won't name their names, that they're still alive now. And uh, one of them uh, put a glass in one guy's face, one done one with a bottle, and it was all blood running down the terraces. But I did tell the guys, don't stand there, because you're, you're going to get yourself in trouble. But um, when you're a little kid, no one's going to respect you. They, can, they just think, oh, uh, mouthy little kid. So um, I wasn't involved in the fight, but I was, and I was there. But um, the, pro most, the first proper fight was involved with was West Ham as well. That was when we were playing Orient. And what happened, I was on the train. I was 13. I was with my father. And what happened, West Ham's Mile End Firm was at Wapping. And what happened, they broke into, um, um, they got all these pickaxe handles and stuff. They broke into uh, the stuff at the station and got all these iron bars. And what happened, we was all packed on the train. And they, the first couple of guys who came out, they started beating them. But once we got out and we got like on the platform with them, there was like um, a massive fight. But we, we pushed them back and we got the better of them. But that was the first one that I was really involved with. I was 13. Is that when you realised this is what you wanted to do? It's it's like a disease, you, 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 the adrenaline rush, and it's very, very hard to get out of, I'm sure. Yeah, so a lot of people who don't understand it, who's never done it, will never understand why people do it. Like, was it such a buzz for you? Did it make you feel alive, especially if you're being bullied at school, to then feeling part of something? Is that what keeps it? kind of fire going well, what, for what it. it was like at Millwall if you if you get Millwall Tottenham Arsenal Chelsea and West Ham it's like the five families in New York like the Mafia mm -hmm. and but with Millwall it was um, so secretive that's why I've just come on after all these years but because of my near death experience I've got to get I've got to get the proper I've got to get the stories out but I've got a photographic memory and I can remember stuff in the 60s and 70s and 80s like it was yesterday. Um, with Millwall, it's, um, how can I put it? It's very, um, we're very tight. We're very tight. Um, before I, I got to the top of the firm as a young age at 17, when I was 15, I had my own little firm as well, like a sub firm with all people from the age of 15 to 17. And I will give you two instances of what, um, what happened at 15. We played Aston Villa, the match had finished. And you, when you're young, you think you're invincible. And I, I happened to have my father, uh, my best trousers on and I'd still toe cap brogues. So I went down to the, um, after Aston Villa, down at what they call Newcross Great Station, on my own. The police were there and they thought it quite amusing. They, they let a German shepherd and the German shepherd grabbed a hold of my uh, right buttock and it sunk its teeth in, ripped my trousers. So I knew when I get home, I'm going to get a beating from my dad. So what happened? I swung, the dog got swung, I swung the, donk, uh, the dog off and what I did, um, not that I'm, because um, I love animals, but because of the situation, you just, what I did, I kicked the dog in the face and a couple of its teeth come out. So the police chased me up, up the platform and a mile down the road, but I got away. 
that was April um, 73. I was just 15. And then um, we played a match with Nottingham Forest and we only took like 100 firm up there and um, most of them got thrown in the trench. I, I was lucky that day. I didn't get beat, but we, we was under pressure. So we played them on a Tuesday in a League Cup match. We lost the League match 3-0, but we beat them in the League Cup. I was at what they call the back of the halfway line and a little kid come up. He said, Bob, Bob, they're here. They're up the... Uh, what happened? There was 40 Romany Gypsy guys from Newark, Forest Boys, all in their 30s and 40s, and they all had weapons. So we've gone down there 25-handed, and one of my mates, he had um, a crash and we, we, we didn't have any tools with us. So we've gone straight into them. And this guy went, went to put um, an axe in um, my head. And one of my friends is here from Islington, um, uh, Tally and Tony, he brought the, guy's eye, brought the guy's arm. So what happened, um, we was all rolling about on the floor and fighting. And what happened, this sergeant, he, he um, arrested me who was the um, big tall guy, and he took me by behind the sand and gave me a beat. And in them days, the way we used to talk, I said, leave it out, Governor. Then got, I nearly got killed, nearly got my head chopped off. They were all told up. He said, you're just trying to get out of a nick. So he said, but if you're telling the truth, I I'll let you go. So we went round at Millwall. You had a hooli van where they used to take the people and then they used to take them. If they were nicked, they'd take them to the nick. There was all these weapons on the table. Oh, you were telling the truth, he said. So he kicked me up in the arse and he said, oh, don't come back in. But I still went back in. But that, that was when I was 15. How, does, how did Millwall get the fearsome reputation that it's got? When did that start? It started from the early days because we always, at the, at, at the top table, we always had, the, we, we had more heavy guys than the other, the other firms. And... Um, we used to be outnumbered most of the time. Because we were so strict, if anybody run, they, they would be completely ostracised from the firm. Out on the firm, we, we just didn't. So you don't, even if you're going to get killed, you have to stand your ground and fight. Does it then nobody, nobody runs? Nobody runs. What happens if somebody runs, Bob? Well, if you run, you, you're, 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 uh, you're not just told, you're, 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 you'll get physically dealt with. And yep. you're told from a young age, this is something you don't... It's like being in the mafia and, and being a uh, grass or informer or, or taking money off of um, take, taking money off of um, people high up the food chain. You have to work to parameters. And when did you start moving through the ranks? I started moving through the ranks 15, 16, and I got to the top at the, the 1975 um, testimonial between Mill and West Ham when um, one of your friends who you've interviewed many times, um, I, I put it, I, I, what happened? We let West Ham come in the ground. We was on the halfway line. Because it was all fences, we, we had to climb the I was the first one round there. 17, I met my ginger hair. I had my army, my dad's army second world war because he, he was American, well, was in the American army. Granddad was American. I had this American jacket on and yellow roll neck pullover and I went there and one of your friends I won't name his name because it's not the way we do things and um, you know what I'm talking about and he went mill shit and spat on the floor so I hit him on the he went down out the ground I thought I was going to get nicked I wasn't so then I came back in just after half time and what had happened there was West Ham in the cold blow um maybe a thousand and a thousand mil were all round them and two lines of police. So I've come in from behind. They recognised I was there earlier. So two guys went, was trying to plunge me. I'm on my hands and knees. I was like crawling through um, policemen's legs and I turn around and I'm 17 and all, all the top boys are mill there in their 20s, 30s and 40s. And I said, are we going to let them do this? Or we, what are we going to do? I said, nah. And what happened? We, we attacked. The police went down like chocolate soldiers, and then it was toe to toe fighting. And then, as people were getting done, all the bodies were piling up. We pushed them down the stairs, but it was a very, very, uh, very violent. I've, I whacked a few people who um, who you know, but I won't, I won't know their names. Who won? That we won. One. We won. 